we are, the next phase, which is one of my favorites, it's when makeup and costumes come together. So I have two different bows to kind of complete our portion right here. One is from my daughter, and if you just have a little clippy clip, you can stick that right in there and have it there. And it's a great little fun red bow. I think I want mine a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna lift up my collar, and I have this from when I am Mary Poppins. And I think I'm just going to use this one. I like the bigger bow. And just have it go behind and behind. Then I went to a costume shop and I got myself a, um, a normal derby, a black derby hat. I know hers is a little bit different than that, but that's what I used. And then I grabbed the daisies that go on and the red berries. That is what it ends up looking like. And I just use hot glue to put these accessories on. I feel like hot glue is great for costuming because if I need this for anything else, if you look back at my Instagram account, you'll see a Charlie Chaplin look and I use the same derby hat. And it's nice to be able to just pluck these things off and use them like that. What I want to do though is, I mean, I have a very loose chiffon kind of thing going on. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my bangs and really stress that part that she had and take maybe a few bobby pins to tuck them back in there. Okay, so pinning it a little bit to get the hair somewhat perfect. This piece is driving me crazy. Let's take that out real quick and fix it. So in the front here, I tried to do um, a little bit to where it bumps right here. It's not wanting to stay super well because I haven't probably wet it down. But let's do that on the other side here. Let's get like a little bump going on. There we go, not too shabby. All right, and then for our hat, our Mary Poppins hat. I also threw on a cardigan really quickly because I just love what the cardigan does. And because I had to throw the cardigan on, I had to fix the bow. So let's do that, shall we? So this is the original Mary Poppins look. I do have another, um, let's get this chair back. I do have another one with this look, but this is more of an updated one. Some of the pieces are the same, some pieces are a little bit different, but here it is. And what would Mary Poppins be without her bag? So if you're going to dress up like this, you definitely need to have her bag. My husband and I went to a costume party quite a few Halloweens ago, and this is what we were. And I decided to have a bag that had safety pins, that had bobby pins that had tissue that had like anything that I could think of that maybe people might want at that party. It was just that much funnier to have, oh, well, I have that in my Mary Poppins bag, right? And then, so she has her bag, she has her umbrella. And from the brilliant mind of my friend Maureen over at Mo Creations, you can see her on Instagram as well. I'll put the link down below. She came up with this. I told her I was doing a Mary Poppins transformation. Because I'm doing the two Mary Poppins, obviously I'm not making myself look like Julie Andrews, like I said, but this just blows my mind. So she, this, this guy is going to be used for the Emily Blunt and for this one. Huh. But I just love the intricate detail that she did. Isn't he fantastic? I just think he's the coolest looking thing ever. He's wonderful. And I didn't want him necessarily on an umbrella, so we, we did a dowel, but she's going to be doing a video to show you exactly how she sculpted this, what she used, how she painted this. She is amazing. So, quite enough of that, right? Right. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about really, really quickly, because this is kind of a Mary versus Mary. The things that I remember about Mary Poppins, especially it being one of the first movies that I can remember watching growing up. And when it made its way to us, it was like in the 60s, I was about 20 years after that. 
uh, less than 20 years after that. But I remember the feelings that I had when I watched it and it was so powerful to me. I remember thinking that she was a no-nonsense nanny, but she taught them responsibility. She taught them beautiful songs. She taught them to love. She taught them to cherish. She taught them to just really own who they were and I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. She made everything fun. And that was something that I said that I wanted to be when I became a mom was that I was going to make every chore fun or I was going to make every job that they had to do at school fun. I wanted to infuse fun and a little bit of humor in everything that we did. So those are the things that I learned from Mary Poppins. Now, obviously this movie that's coming out, some people were confused. I don't know how, but some people were confused in thinking that it was a remake of Mary Poppins, which of course it was not. It is Mary Poppins Returns. It's a completely different era. Um, the first one was set in 1910, even though P.L. Travers want, wrote it for 1930s. So this new one is in the 1930s when she originally wrote the first one, or she set the story of the first one in. And so Jean and Michael are older now, and it's a Mary Poppins that still teaches those same things, but has evolved a little bit, which got my mind reeling that how cool would it be to see what Mary Poppins would do for kids today, for kids on screens today. You know, that would, that would just be really, really interesting and it kind of can get your mind working and everything. But what I, when I watched this, I felt the same things. I felt the same things that I felt when I watched the old Mary Poppins no, it's not the same. It's not supposed to be. But the songs were beautiful. The messages in the songs were beautiful. The nostalgia, oh my goodness, of having Dick Van Dyke in there and look at him go. He can still move. It's amazing. Having um, Angela Lansbury in there was just such a treat. And to hear her voice, her voice is so iconic too. So to hear her in there, it was just wonderful. So now as we're thinking about Mary Poppins, now we're going to go toward the new Mary Poppins. Come with me. To say that I loved the costume designs on Mary Poppins Returns is such an understatement. I loved all the colors. I loved all the silhouettes of the clothing. I loved how they wore them. Each piece wanted to be in my closet. I'm sure of it. And here among the bubbles, you'll notice that we did switch our hairstyle from the more traditional Mary Poppins to more of a 30s finger wave. And we have two more looks coming at you. Can you imagine that? And of course, who could forget when Mary Poppins just floats onto the scene? So I bought this hat when I was home in California for a little bit, painted the bird, Got those feathers put on. My friend helped me put this together as I was getting the next look ready. I knew I had a blue bow tie, but I knew that I didn't have a polka dot bow tie. So out came the three hole punch and out came the glue and there you go. And this coat is practically perfect in every way. Look at that. It is size 13 in girls though and that's why I got it for pretty cheap from Shein.com. <laughs> But really, it was a good deal. Oh, really? Yes, really. I think it was a wonderful deal, don't you? No. Uncle Gutenberg was a bookworm, and he lived on Channing Cross. The memory of his volumes brings a smile. He would read me lots of stories when he wasn't on the sauce. That is Sophie's favorite and most asked for song ever, ever, ever. Sophie is my two and a half year old, by the way. All right, so this is my favorite, favorite, favorite one. It was the most labor intensive out of all of the different looks because I used foam board to do this and I painted it myself. So let's get in a little bit closer here. So you can see all the detail and it's one um, piece as far as this and this is concerned. And then I did white and then I have some pink underneath. So my husband helped me a little bit in um, cutting it out for me and then I was able to just paint over it. And then the birds, oh, look at those 
fun little birds. Could you just die? I got a doll's hat from Hobby Lobby, I think. And then we just kind of poop, pooped it up a little bit. And my friend came over. She is the one that made this amazingness. She lives just right down the street. She came and was able to help me um, just with some tedious work that I needed help with. Just kind of like pushing that thing up and getting everything ready. But I was able to paint these and cut them out and kind of twist them around and make them how I wanted. And I just love how it turned out. I absolutely do. So those are the looks that I loved the most from Mary Poppins Returns. And I have to say, every time I've watched this movie, I'm a crier though. I definitely cry. It is very, it's going to be one of those movies for me that is just as iconic as Mary Poppins. Not because it's better than, not because it replaces in any way, but mostly because of how it made me feel and the messages from the songs, especially the last one. So for this year, for um, this, if you're watching this later, whatever, this is 2019, and my goal for this year, my New Year's resolution, if you will, is to have joy in the journey and to see joy in the journey. And my song is from Mary Poppins Returns, Nowhere to Go But Up. So, if you haven't heard it, I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it, what are you thinking? And let me kind of stand up so you can see what this looks like. Isn't this wonderful? It's so much fun. So I took foam and I just did this one as well. And so, it just I just love the cartoon aspect of this and how they made it really look like things were just painted on, and when they walked, you could hear the chink, 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 because they were in the china bowl. So, hope you guys like this. If you do, please um, comment, subscribe, like. That would be wonderful. I really do appreciate your guys' support. With every video that I make, um, I just get more and more excited about the next one. If you haven't seen my other transformations where I actually turn into the person, um, go ahead and go to Classy Cosmetics on Instagram. Cosmetics is spelled with a Z. Don't forget, or I guess I should do it the opposite way for you guys. Yeah. But have a wonderful day, whatever it is that you're doing. Just remember, there's nowhere to go 